Well, hey Libra, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm finally going to redo your video again because I have tried to upload your video not once, not twice, not three times, but five times. So I just said, fuck it, let's redo a whole new video for you guys. And I do apologize. I hope everybody has been doing well. I hope everybody has been taking care of themselves, um, doing what's necessary so we can get through this process that we are going through. Um, I send out love and healing energies to all of those who are suffering from the pandemic of the coronavirus. Many blessings, much love and healing energies out to all of those people that are going through it. And prayers that those that are gripped in the throes of fear will uh, release themselves because it's not healthy, okay? So, as you guys know, I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my old subscribers that have been rocking with me from day one. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Much love to you all and welcome family. Welcome to the Soul Tribe. Um, Y'all know I cuss. Y'all know I talk shit. Hella shit sometime in my videos. <clears throat> so, you know, if that offends you, this is your time to click off. No harm, no foul. Time we know is fluid. So this could be past, present, and future energies. So take what resonates with you. What doesn't, fuck it. And as you know, this can be you or your person. The roles can be reversed. The energies can be reversed. And this can be same-sex relationships. And this is a collective reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, North Node, and South Node. So clearly I forgot that, that part. But anyway, let's get down to your reading, Libra. I mean, this was a struggle to get y'all's reading out. I do not know why. And y'all had a damn good reading on the last one. I'm not going into it, but just know your reading was good. But we're going to see what the energies bring tonight. I'm using the Illuminati Tarot deck. Also, guys, anything that you need to know about me and my channel will be listed in the description box below the video, okay? I do apologize. But um, I use the Illuminati Tarot to pull your energy. I got the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you are in the house. I have the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I have the Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and I have Judgment. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So some of you definitely are dealing with possibly another air sign or a water sign or a water sign that has air in their chart or an air sign that has water in their chart. Somebody has been very deceptive. I get more. Somebody is really trying to hide some shit. And they're trying to lay low like ain't nothing happening. But somebody is plotting and strategizing how to slide out of a situation. Somebody has got the wake-up call, and this is an awakening. Somebody has heard that horn and has heard that judgment on the situation. Some of y'all know that y'all could be leaving situations or somebody could be leaving you in a situation. But I'm getting that judgment has been called. For some of you, this is a reconciliation. Um, but this person could have been very deceptive in the past. Um, they may be taking no action to move towards you. Um, if they, if you are offering or they're offering, somebody is rejecting it and either you call judgment, they call judgment or the celestial family call judgment. And now somebody's emotions are just closed the hell out. And at the bottom of the deck that I'm going to read from, I have the Empress. So some of you could be in a divine relationship. Um, working towards union. At the bottom of the love oracle, it says express your love. 
go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I'm going to go ahead. All of my cards have been blessed, prayed over, and shuffled and cut. So to cut the time on the video. So what messages can you give me for Libra, please, in love? What messages do they need to know? For love? Still says express your love, Libra. The two cards that came out are give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So some of you are experiencing a situation where maybe you could be of one religion, um, you could be spiritual, your person could be uh, traditional in their religious beliefs and thinking. So with this being said, this could put you guys at a disadvantage or just how you see religion overall. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So Libra. You are looking beautiful. You are looking abundant, creative. Some of you could be pregnant, but in this case, um, it would be more pregnant with ideas. You could be um, becoming more intuitive. More of your uh, spiritual gifts are awakening for some of you. Set these to the side because I'm going to come back and use those to close your reading. Over here, I have a deck called The Dreams of Gaia. I have used it in everybody's reading. Excuse the blood up underneath my nail. I hurt my finger. But um, I'm going to pull a card. And we have the child. So we're going to read what the child says. Okay. The child is new beginnings, innocence, magic, divine love, trust, hope, forgiveness, awareness, potential, anticipation, dependency. A new beginning. See your potential. Heal emotional and psychological wounds. Time to play and laugh. Acknowledge your success. Delight in the moment. Believe in magic. Laughter heals. Turn dreams into reality. Forgive the past. Reconnect with innocent pleasures. Put doubt aside. Very nice, Libra. Very nice indeed. So we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. I'm just going to go ahead and set that to the side for now. So let's see what's going on. Can you tell me what is the messages for Libra? Good Lord. Your cards are ready to speak. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Magician. So you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody wants to offer love. They're manifesting as the Magician. Someone wants to come in and take passionate action. Somebody could definitely be um, ready to give reciprocity in a situation. Something is very destined and faded. So somebody wants to work on this love, Libra. Either you or your person or you both want to work on it. Somebody got truth and clarity in this situation about possibly maybe what they have manifested in the past. I'm feeling somebody regrets what they manifested in the past. Now somebody's ready to manifest something new.
Uh oh, hold up. Hold up now. Excuse me. And my incense tried to get away from me. So I'm going to go ahead and call off the cards that are on the board. We have the Ace of Cups, the Magician, Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, um, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, and, high and the High Priestess, and the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, somebody definitely wants to start with a new offer of love. They're manifesting this. This could be you or your person. Some of you could have water in your chart. Your person could have water in their chart. Um, they could have Aries, Virgo, or Gemini. And as the magician, someone is definitely manifesting love. They want to take passionate action. Some of them really want to be passionate with you or you, them, Libra. Somebody is ready to give an equal balance of give and take. In the past, there was real, no real reciprocity. The Wheel of Fortune was a lesson. And for others of you, um, this is going to be all of its destined and fated. It was all meant to happen. It doesn't make a difference who it is. And somebody is really willing to put in the work this time. They got clarity about a situation. Some of y'all could be dealing with another air sign. And some of you, I'm being told, or your person could be leveling up in their finances, could be going into business for themselves in order to bring this love offer. Someone wants to bring in some definite passionate communication. In the past, there could have been definitely um, no equal reciprocity in this relationship. Somebody was in a one-sided relationship and somebody received crumbs in this situation. And somebody began to realize too that this was a tit for tat situation. Somebody could have been gloating. Somebody could have um, been fearful about being in a committed relationship. And somebody got smart and used their intuition, either you or them, Libra. In the past, there was a lot of conflict in this situation. Somebody could have been hiding that they could have been sleeping with somebody at their place of work or in their social circle is what I'm getting. So this could have been you or your person, Libra. Well, damn. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So somebody definitely, because I just got the Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Nine of Cups. So somebody is definitely wanting to offer love, stability, and wish fulfillment. Either you're offering it to them, Libra, or they're offering it to you. That is beautiful. Could be a water sign with Earth in their chart. Somebody has been focused on their finances heavily and manifesting more finances. They were more focused on their finances than they were about love, but they gained clarity in the situation. This person could have been dealing with another um, air sign too, is what I'm getting. Somebody could have been unfaithful in a love relationship, long-term committed relationship, or a marriage for some of you. For others of you, this person wants to bring in that uh, long-term, stable, committed relationship. And this four of pentacles, I, I feel, and I'm just going to say, I feel like somebody is holding their heart. It's like you're holding this person's heart. I'm being told that their heart belongs to you, is what I'm being told. And somebody finally saw the truth of their ways about how um, they were offering you a one-sided relationship. Now they can see why 
um, this relationship ended like it did. Could have been dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. In the past, someone was very deceptive, very dishonest. There's communication coming in. Possibly from a water sign, someone wants to offer love. Either you or your person, but somebody is waiting for their ships to come in, in this situation. Yeah, some of you could have been dealing with a lot of conflict at work. Um, either you or your person. There could have been an outbreak about money too. A fight about money. I'm also picking up and this is not going to resonate for everybody, but it will for some. But some of y'all could have been arguing about over money, love, and assets is what I'm is what I'm hearing. Y'all could have been dealing with someone that was already married, or your um, person could have got truth and clarity. And now they're ready to come in and offer love and commitment. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could have it in your chart or they could. Somebody wants to come in with a message that, you know, I'd like to take you out. Have a conversation. And possibly offer you a gift. Stability. What else? Why is the Five of Swords here? Your cards are just coming very easy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So somebody definitely could have been dealing in a third party situation. But you found out about it, or either they found out about it. And you got truth and clarity. Somebody could be hiding that someone is single. Not letting their person know that they've become single. Or either someone is pregnant. That could be what the truth is about too. Yeah, a third party situation. Somebody could, ooh, yeah. They said go into that one, so that's why we're, and you could have been dealing with the King of Wands, but um, whoever you were dealing with, legal, either you or them were very toxic, very codependent. Um, somebody had multiple partners, multiple, multiple partners is what I'm hearing. A lot of conflicted energy. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Whatever it was, it was a burden. We have the Ten of Wands down here. And somebody could be um, stressed out to about coming forward to you with this message. Yeah, your person could be having a lot of sleepless nights about taking this leap of faith. Could be dealing with an Aries, somebody that possibly has air in their chart prominently. Um, but they're waiting, waiting. They could be married to this or in a long-term co committed relationship with this Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're telling me to go back into this Five of Wands energy. Yeah, somebody's been fighting for some of you guys about 
a decision that they needed to make or telling somebody about a decision, but this is more of somebody has been working through a lot of conflict, a lot of lies, a lot of competition. Um, this could be the karmic person fighting your person about a divine connection. And this person could be spying on you. And they're waiting for their ships to come in because they definitely want to give you a passionate new beginning. So I got three aces in my face. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start again with the love oracles. It says true love at the bottom, Libra. This is a romance of a lifetime, so don't sleep on it. Can you give me some insight, more insight for Libra and love? What is the messages for Libra and what is the energies? Codependency so came out. We already discussed that. So we have calling in your soulmate. Mm -hmm. How pretty is that? Someone is calling you in or you're calling in your soulmate or some of you could be calling in a new soul, soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And in the past, some of you could have been dealing with someone um, that had codependency issues, addictions are affecting your romantic life. And I feel like for some of you, um, your person could have been a smoker and a drinker but mainly a sex addict for some of you. Let's pull some messages from the Earth Magic Oracle deck and see what they will give me for Libra. Karma, your card, Libra. So for this person, this is kind of like um, ingrained in their DNA. Either it's ingrained in yours or it's ingrained in theirs. And this is ooh, ancestors of the generations. So this is something that's been a long cycle for your person. Their parent, um, mom or dad could have had some of these same patterns um, that you experienced dealing with your person. But we have a full moon, so the completion of this cycle should be at the full moon. Let's pull from the Energy Oracle deck and see what we have here. At the bottom, we have a thanking man, so your person could definitely be thanking as far as their next move and how to come back towards you. And he or she could be coming back towards you to... Try to fix this. Some of you will accept your person back. Some of you won't. Just as simple as that. Right now, somebody could be experiencing financial constraints. But we have 13. And that's a very powerful number. So it'll go into four, which is stability. And we have attachment here. So there's going to be a change. Someone needs to take their mask off. And we also have deceit. So we have a seven. So someone definitely was dishonest in this situation in the past. Either you or your person. Let's see what the Ascended Masters have to say. At the bottom of the deck, they say, choose peace, Libra. before now they want to, everybody want to talk choose peace is still at the bottom so we have you are seeing the situation clearly from Horus like I said somebody could be pregnant and 
Some of you are being called to meditate yoga. And some of you definitely could be dealing with a twin flame as we spoke of before. So let's go ahead and close out with the Archangel Oracle deck. And we have Take Back Your Power. It says, Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. So, oh, and also, I'm sorry, Second Chakra by Archangel Ariel. So some of you, um, your second chakra could be out of alignment, could need some balance and work. So henceforth, the yoga does help. Meditation. Ah. <clears throat> and I felt that too. Some of you could be dealing with somebody that either quit a job, lost a job, or got fired from a job, or that could be you. But you have career transitions. So when I saw that five over there on the Eight of Pentacles, your life purpose, Archangel Chamuel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So some of you are getting new careers and peace. Look at this. Libra, this is coming out as a very strong message for you. Archangel Chamuel, again, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So guys, you have a really a beautiful reading. Somebody wants to come in and offer you love, stability, and commitment. They may have hurt you in the past. Um, depending on how far you are into your healing will determine whether or not if you decide to go further into it with this person or, you know, just continue healing and move forward without them. The choice is yours. But I hope you enjoyed your reading, Libra. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. You can find me on Facebook as Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin. Um, and you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. I love you, Soul Fam. You take care of yourself. And I, again, do apologize for the delay in your video. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Peace.